Hello guys, I am the Anime Uprise. How's it going? Today we're doing another video, and this time we're doing a manga review of My Hero Academia. Before we begin, I want to mention that I'm switching up the format for the manga review stuff. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to not explain the plot for the entire video. I'm going to post a picture right after the introduction of the plot. People who don't know the story already can pause it and read it and then they'll know what's up or they can just keep going and hear my opinions on the series. But either way, it works out fine. It's less um, annoying plot explanation for the entire video and more opinions on the series itself. So yeah, that might also cause these videos to be much shorter than they would be. Like maybe like two minutes, maybe, I don't know. We'll talk more at the end. So with that said, you guys know the new format of the video. So with, so yeah, let's get going. So my hero academia, I'm gonna go back to like 2016 I think, when the, when the first season came out. I was working at the time, so I'd get home and come back and just watch, watch the series. And when I got home one day, that's, this is before I started watching that series, I got home one day, I saw a whole bunch of videos of this series blowing up on YouTube, and I was like, hey, I need anime to watch, because around that time I finished Bleach, I was like, I need something to watch, so this anime seemed really good. Of course, I watched the anime first, like we're going to get to the point of me getting to the manga, but right now, I'm going to explain how I found out about the series first, then give my overall thoughts. So yeah, I found the anime, and... There was only like five or six episodes at the time, so I was like, I can binge watch this and I can catch up. And but if I don't like it, whatever, right? So I tried it out, and holy man, this series surprised me to no end. Like, I never felt this feeling since like Dragon Ball itself, my first anime. I was like, this is something that was very, very new to me. Like, I didn't feel this feeling. Like, I felt that in Bleach, all the major anime. I've seen, I felt this feeling of overall excitement at the beginning to see more. And this anime surprised me to no end when it happened with My Academia. But don't, don't be wrong, it didn't happen on the first episode, didn't happen on the second episode, but on the third episode, I think, was the one that got me into this series. And wow, this was something that I overall thought I would never get into like that. Like, it was very, very, um, surprising, you know, in my opinion. After that, I kept watching the anime, kept watching it, watching its awesomeness, all its epic moments, all the shonen tropes that I've grown to love being used and mastered in new different ways that they did. Some character traits were the same as others, some out really blew up, and just other, like, the characters were great. They really well developed, especially Bakugou. Like, his character in the manga really gets bigger development. Like, I was in the anime, like, first season, I didn't really like Bakugou all too much. In the second season, I didn't like him all too much. But in the third season, I started to get a bit more uh, of a connection. But, well, in the second season, I didn't read the manga. That's when I started to read the manga, which leads to that point. Remember the Seashell? Our Shinso fight with Izuku in the tournament in Season 2? Well, when it stopped at a halfway point when Izuku was having trouble winning that fight with the mind control, when it stopped, I couldn't handle that because like, it was getting all hyped up and I just couldn't handle waiting for the next extra week for that other episode. So in the end, I decided to, I buckled down, I broke, and I went to the manga. And <laughs> that's a decision that I do not regret. Like, oh boy. I read that, like, I read all the chapters. I caught up to that, into the My Family, uh manga that night. That night! And I was like, yeah, man, this is crazy. I need more. Like, that just hit something. That spark just happened to blow up then. But, <laughs> now the manga has slowly been losing my interest. I've been going along with the anime, but as of now, the manga is starting to catch me off. So here's the part where I'm going to start putting in my opinions. Okay, 
this is a really good shonen anime. Again, our manga, anime manga. I'm just talking about anime and manga is not really my thing. As a manga, I do think the art is very good. I really recommend this manga a lot. But the, the, the art is good in, for my, in my opinion. Some points it can be a little bit lacking, but and others they're really good. The art's really good where it needs to be, which again, a lot of them, on, in those big moments the art will just pick up and it will just be phenomenal. Which I love that fact. <laughs> and the shonen tropes, everything about this manga, I really enjoy. If I had any faults in it. Which, I don't, I don't really think I do. Actually, yeah, this has no fault for me. Like, this this manga gets the intensity right, the characters de development right, introductions right, everything just does, it does everything right. <laughs> I can't really say any flaws about this manga, in my opinion, well, for the early manga anyway. In the current manga, which, hold on a second. Of course, I don't have all the manga up to its current state. But in the current manga, I do have um, complaints. It's starting to get more slow now. Everything's slowing down. I think with this recent arc with um, the A class versus B class type thing going on, it just doesn't... I, I don't. I'm not reading that arc right now. Like it doesn't get me captivated like it used to be. So every manga sort of has this breaking point where it starts to lose interest, and this that's happened to me. So most of all, this anime, her manga, is very good. It's starting to slow down now, but in my opinion, this thing has no flaws. The art's good. The character development's great. The characters and the personalities are also great. The art is. Phenomenal, in my opinion, anyway. Like, I do like a lot of these things in this manga. It does a lot of these things right. A lot. <laughs> the it, the story is great. Overall, everything's good. But, right now, overall, this, this is a really great manga. You should check it out. But, um, the later arcs do... And I'm getting slow, I'm just gonna warn you that now. <sighs> but with that said guys, uh, I'm not really good at reviewing anything. That's why my channel isn't a reviewing channel. But if you did like this review and want more, um tell me a manga you'd like me to read and review or give my opinion on, then you know what? I'll do it. So with that said guys, if you leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all next time. Johnny, let's get done subscribers. Two more.